Friday evening, just got back for riding my motorcycle and I was all riding and I thought about, you know what, I should do a video on how to test to see if your charging system works in your bike. Uh, the test I'm going to do is basically you're going to test your battery when you start it and have it run and then by that you're going to be able to tell when the engine is running, if your charging system works or not. This uh, not only works on American bikes, it also works on metric bikes as well. Uh, the principle is still the same. So. It was a great day out for riding. As you can see in the background, it's still sunny out and this and that, but I'm still trying to get over a cold. And one of the worst things it is, I got no face shield and I ride with an open helmet, like a little shorty. So when you're riding, it's not coming out of your nose and going like that, it's not a very good sign. But now, in order to get to the charging system on the bike, my battery is located underneath the seat. I'm going to remove the seat and get my electrical equipment set up and so I can show you how to test the charging system. So I'm hoping you can see that, so with the battery connected to the meter, it's saying 12.91 volts, which is good. So, right now, I got the engine off. I don't know if it'll crank over or not, but we're gonna crank it over and see if the voltage drops. No, it won't let me, so we're gonna start it. And then a good battery, the voltage will stay about won't drop below 10 volts. If the battery's weak, it'll go like nine volts or whatever. So we're gonna crank it over and see what happens. So it didn't drop below 11, so now we're reading like 13. So hopefully you're able to see that in the video. Uh, reading like 13 volts, 12 volts with an idle, and then once you start it up and rev it, it goes like 14 volts. And as you stop it, volts drop back down. So that obviously tells me that my charging system is working. Otherwise, if you went to go start your bike, and the voltage was about 12 volts, and it was staying at constantly at 12 volts, not going up in voltage as you rev the bike, your charging system is bad. Not only if your charging system is bad, not only would your battery die on you, it would probably leave you stranded somewhere where you really don't want to be stuck, which would piss you off, like on a freeway during rush hour traffic or something. So, this is just a quick test. It takes about five minutes just to set it up, and um, all it is is voltmeter here, and basically you just connect it and uh, get your power. Make sure it's on DC volts, not AC. AC is for your house. Hook it up, uh, start your bike, like I said the voltage shouldn't drop below 10 volts, otherwise that means that your battery's bad. Um, I would set it idle, rev it up, if your voltage moves up, your charging system's good. So, so I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact me either via by YouTube or at Twitter at Bullshit Corner. Otherwise, with other videos, I gotta come up on the bike. We're gonna do a video later on on troubleshooting electronics. I'm just gonna show you. Let me put my key back in. With this bike being custom, the tail lights are LED in the back, and I got. See, I got a short in there. So basically, so basically, what happened? I've had the lights apart before, and I had to solder them together. Is that there's uh, LED lights soldered into a circuit board, and what happens over time with the bike driving it is that it vibrates and the um, and the solder breaks. So basically, I just got to remove the rear fender, remove the panel with that, and take it apart and solder it back together, and it'll be good. But I'll save that for another video. So I'm going to leave it at this. Like I said, follow me on Twitter or post comments below. Thanks for watching.